Hey there, this is video number 35. We are solving for R, which is solving for how much will the monthly payment or quarterly payment or something like that. All right, so Skippy wants to save up enough for a $25,000 down payment on a house in eight years. It earns 3.6% compounded monthly. How much should he deposit every month? Well, I'm going to do my estimate. an idea of where my answer should be. So here's what I think. If he's got $25,000, I'm going to divide that by 8. So 25, 1, 2, 3, divide by 8. That means he should sort of save three years. Right? That's what totally wants. In eight years, he needs to save at least $3,125 per year. And now, can you anticipate? We're going to divide by 12. So 260. If he was not putting this in the bank, and he was not saving, he was not getting any interest, he would need to put away $262.42 per month and in eight years, he would have his $25,000. So what does that tell me? Well, it gives me a rough guess of what my answer should be like. So, and it also tells me that if this is with no interest, because the bank is gonna give him some interest, it should be less than that. One of the most common problems students have is they will get this formula mixed up with um, the loan formula, or they will put um, the $25,000, yeah, 25000 in for the regular payment. Anyway, it gets crazy, and you get these huge answers. And I'm like, does this make sense? And students are, I don't know. Well, this way, I know my answer should be around there. So if I get something like $5,000 a month, I know I've screwed up. So either my math is wrong, I've got the wrong formula, or I didn't understand the question. So you don't have to do this but I do like to have some kind of an estimate of, just give me a ballpark. All right, S, R, I, N. All right, we are doing eight years, times 12, eight times 12, yeah, it should be 90, yeah, 96, I'm embarrassed I did that, 96. My interest, 3.6, divide by 100, divide by 12, equals 0 0.003. And I don't know my R, and I want this to be 25,000. That's what I want to say. Now, this part has nothing absolutely nothing to do with this question. This is just a rough guess. You could also do it at the end to see if it's reasonable. It's up to you. Or you can say, no, that's just confusing. I don't want to do that. Whoops. I know what the S is. I want to save $25,000. Point zero zero three ninety six minus one. Lost the one there. And I lost a bracket there. Five thousand is R. Now we're going to go one point zero zero three to the ninety six. Is 
Okay, so now, again, the plan here is to solve all of this stuff on this side and just have an R and one single number. I guess there are other ways you can solve this and then cross multiply. And then. That just sounds kind of crazy right now. So minus one. So 25,000 is equal to R zero, whoopsies. Is equal to R. Eleven point one oh six. Then I'm going to use my one over button. So X to the minus one, and then I'm going to multiply by twenty five thousand. Meet my cookie because something just went really wrong. Hmm. I just got an answer. The second time I've got the answer, about two thousand dollars. And I thought it should be about $260. Something has gone wrong. I'm going to take a look at this one first. 25,000, 1, 2, 3, divide by 8, divide by 12. No, that's, that math is still good. I'm thinking because I'm out by such a big factor that I messed up a zero again. And I'm gonna do what I did last time. I'm going to pause the recording, figure it out, and then get back to it. Alrighty there. So what happened? My guess is I added an extra zero here because this number when I do it this time is 111. Zero, 06. So seriously, watch those zeros and see if your answers were crazy. Because the final answer I was getting was about $2,000. And if I put $2,000 away a month, I'm gonna have $25,000 in almost a year. So that was crazy. All right, so I'm going to take that one. I'm going to go use my x to the minus one key and multiply by 25,000. Aha, now I get 225,000, no, 225.10 is equal to R. So basically we just That makes way more sense. And that one's going to be a little higher because this is going in the bank and it's going to earn some interest. So that's going to make up the difference there. All right. Mark wants to start a video equipment rental company. He wants to start it in three years. What should his quarterly payments be? Okay. I trust my little estimate. So wants ten thousand dollars and he wants to do that in three years and then I'm gonna divide it he wants to make quarterly payments So that's my estimate. My answer should be somewhere around $800. Now let's do the real math. Okay. 
thousand dollars, three years, eight percent quarterly. Three years, nine, nope, yep, times four. Okay, so I want to make 12 payments. And my interest is eight percent divided by 100. Or 0 0.02. I better check that. Eight. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know how my my monthly payments are, but I know that I want to end up with ten thousand dollars. Again, this, not that. This is just a best guess to give us an idea of where we're supposed to be. So 10,000, there's our formula. And don't worry, come exam time, you will have a copy of the formula sheet. It might not be exactly the yellow or gold, I think it's yellow that I made for you, um, one, but it, it will definitely have your formulas on it. So you just have to remember which is which. And I find this one easy, because it starts with an S that reminds me it's the one you use for savings. So 10,000. Here's what I don't know. Bracket, bracket, one plus 0 0.02 to the 12th minus one over 0 0.02. 1.02 to the 12th minus one. Zero two to the twelfth one point two six eight minus one point whoopsies don't add an extra zero that'd be a bad idea. Eight. Eight. Zero point zero two. Okay, so over here on my calculator, I'm going to subtract one. And then I'm going to divide by point zero two. Oh, we got thirteen point four one two. Both sides divide by 13.412. Again, carrying all the decimal points with me on my calculator. So, X minus one button times 10,000. And that gives me 745. Point, okay, so five, nine, but another five. That makes that one go up, so 60. So we said 833, it's 7.45. Most you can say is basically this needs to be lower than that. I mean, if that worked out to be $12, I'd really be worried, but um, that's good. End of the video. Have a great day.